Amen. Amen. Ba jenere katwinjire vuba vuba mu muri bazo byanyu mwabajije mwifuza kumenya. Let's start with the questions that you ask. The first question says when a person confesses his or her sins what authority does the other person have to grant mercy even though none is perfect? Ese ni gute twahitamwo abo twaturira ko ibyaha byacu? Ah, ikibazo kiraho gikomeye ni ukubaza ngo ni yihe authority umuntu afite iyo ku iyo kubabarira icyaha cyo ndi muntu sicyo kibazo yes okay reka nyigushakire gato ya muri bibilia i'm going to look for it in the bible deva muri yohana ibice 22 ku murongo wa 22 na kabiri na nagatatu Luka John 20, 22 to 23 Ama ze kufuga atyo awa humekira watini mwakiru muka wera Awo muzaba bariribza habo seba zaba wa yabariwe Awo mutazaba barira habo seba zaba wa tawi wabariwe Iyo ni authority kome When he had said When he had said this he showed them Sorry, 22 And when he had said this he breathed on them And said to them Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. That is the great authority. Yes, ungo ya tushize humu kawe. Ndi turi parifariko turi humu kawe. Umunu kukwa arima nantoya, arima humu kawe ima. Jesus clothed us and gave us the Holy Spirit, even though we are not perfect. Because we are small gods, we have the Holy Spirit. Ima na yadu haibu wa ubash. So God gave us that authority. That if we forgive someone's sin, they are going to be forgiven. And if we retain them, they will not be forgiven. So that does not require you to be a pastor. Because someone if you draw near someone, even though they are unbelievers, mm -hmm. and you ask them for forgiveness, they have the authority to become the ambassador of God and forgive you. If you tell someone that you hurt, and you ask for forgiveness, even though the person is an, an unbeliever, that sin is going to be taken away. That is the great authority that God gave men. Yakobo Gatanu. James 5. Kumurongo Chumi Nagata Nagatanda. James 5, verse 6. 16. Chumi Nagatanda. Mnaturi and Ibza Habzai. Kani Musavian. Kugirango Mukizwe. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Urum. Gumaturi and Ibza Habzai. You begin again. Ibza Habzai. No, we could read. Don't give any authority. So confess to each other your trespasses, tell your friend and let your friend tell you the, his sins, and that is the authority. Okay, to gain the chakabidi. Ziriya? Zuri niki. Zami. Zuri ya Zuri Danieli. Ok, komeza. Hey, hana ho bihuri ye. No, nese, uri ya mara ya wa samba na gawe. Bivuze, wari ya wa samba na gasebo. Wa uh, na bahi. Ok. Ok, the question ask. Uh, what about the beast that look like a lion and a tiger? What does it mean? Uh, also, what about the prostitute who was fornicating, and who are those people who were fornicating? Who are they? Eh, ikiwa to cha wiki, and kigoyeri koko kiavanza, kuko chuo tubuye, zandi tshe, wabi kuyehe, chamu, ura tubuye, usanga wana tuari muri diskusiona, au muki ntuzi la nyimu. The question is not difficult, but it's a little confusing because you did not tell us. The scriptures where you find these questions, it's as if we're already having a discussion. Ambo, ariko kukondo musomiwa bibiria. 
But because I'm, I read the Bible, I believe you are referring to Daniel chapter 7. Like, okay. Let's read Daniel chapter 7. Sizi ni bariho ariho wavuze ariko kuko ahari ntare ingwe ni dubu ni muri Daniel Karindwi eh turebe I believe that is what you mentioned because that's where you found the lion and the bear Kumurongo wa 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 gatatu Daniel Karindwi gatatu Let's look at Daniel 7 Muriyo nyanja hava minyama asukwa nini enye zidasangi yugoko. Ya mbele ya saga ni intare, ifita mawanga hai kizu, nyihangama asukugeza wa mawaba ya ayo, ashukuri jwe, iga agari kwa kuisi. Iga agari reza ama guruye nkumu mtu ye mye, kandi habga umuti mankugu mtu. And the four great beasts came up from the sea, each different from the other. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. I watched till its wings were plucked off. Mda ndonge rambona gatano, indi nyama asuwa ya kabili isa ni dubu. Ye guce uruhande rume. Kande yari itambi timba, yari itambi tse imba veshesha tumu mikaka ya ayo. Baraibu ila batibzuka, uchoncho mere inyama asuwa nyinshi, inyama nyinshi. And suddenly another beast a second like a bear. It was raised up on one side and had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth. And they say to, to, that, to it, Arise, devour much flesh. Hanyuma yivzo mbona indi nyama asu kwa isa ningwe. Kumugo ngoa yari fita mawara ane asana igisiga. Kandi yara fite imitkwe ine ihagu butkwari. After this I looked and there was another like a leopard which had on its back four wings of a bird. The beast also had four heads and dominion was given to it. Ehe. Hanyuma mbona... Seven. Hanyuma mbona, hanyuma yivzo, ni tegereje, mubzo nere tukwe ni joro, mboni nyama asuwa ya kane, ite yubgo oba, yi nyama woko. Nimbaraga, zinshi chane. Yari fiti mikaka, mini ni yivzo uma. Icho nshomera, iwi inu, ilawi menagura, iwi sigaye, iwi siriba angisha, ama janja ya ayo. Ariko yari fiti tanu kandizo, nizi ni nyama asuwa zose, zai banjirize. Kandi yari fiti mahembe chumi. After this I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, exceedingly strong, he had, f he had huge iron teeth, he was devouring, breaking in pieces, and trampling the residue with his feet. He was different from all the beasts that were before it, and he had ten horns. <laughs> I bear with me because your uh, question is not clear, but I'm going to ask you. Because I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. I don't know the scripture you are referring to, but I'm going to answer your question based on Daniel 7. I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. Uh, even the reason uh, why I'm using Daniel is because you mentioned Dan Daniel. So I'm assuming you got this from Daniel. Uh, so a lion represents the reign of the kingdom of the Chaldeans or the kingdom of Babylon. Inare aruka iya aruka sinzi chali chosi i changu iiruka iguruka kuko inare yari fita mababa iguruka ugonu bugami bugani wakadinese bugari swift biuka chani ufite imbaraga. Maybe you were trying to mention the lion that had wings and was flying, which represents the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar, which was swift and had power. Kuko Egle, egle ni nitari bisobanura, imbaraga kandi kuifuta. Because the lion and the ego represent power and speed. Na wari ya waba yengwe sengo, wishate kufugiki, no nese, hili ya yavu ya mugitaka ko, hali ya mahemba, hili ya vuzi, igitaka, tufuru ni Babylon, ni Nebuchadnezzar, igitaka wivuzo muti maumundu, yaru umundu, yara, nubu hara komecha, nari kwa shawara kumva bandu. 
uh, the earth uh, signifies that he was a man, he was Nebuchadnezzar. Even though he was great, he could sympathize with people. Mm. Yes. 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 And suddenly another beast, a second, like a bear. Yeah. A bear represents the Persian kingdom. And he, this was uh, what he was referring to. You ask about the leopard. After this, I saw another one, like a leopard. The leopard signifies uh, the kingdom of the Greeks, which was led by Alexander the Great. It was a great kingdom. Uh, Uh, okay, Ubundi Bramin Uga Numa, Indian Masco, Ibi Fuga, Aribo Bramuba Roma. And the last kingdom that the Bible mentions is the kingdom of the Romans. Yes, we have Taribo Buriho. And Jesus was born under that reign. Anyway, uh, Waruba Jang was angry at Babylon, Iba Fugango, Yasamba Nagango, Vuziki, Gusamba, and Ukoribza, Kajangi Waman, Nabaru Gusam, and Avongu, Umunu, Akosicha, Chubusamba, and you. You will be Fugango, Gowara Samba, and Yamarai, and Gowa, and Marai, and Kongo, Washuki, Shishini, Vigi Waman. So when they mention the fornication, uh, it doesn't mean that a person. Harlot. Uh, yes, the harlot, uh, it doesn't mean that a person uh, in, got involved into adultery. This means that you were deceived by the idols of the world. Mm. So the harlot is Babylon. Mm. Okay, kindi kivazo. Kindi kivazo. Nidi we ni fuzaga kwa mwatsoa nila ishambo nilimu kufa. Ijichochi akane umurongo wa maku nyawili na kane kujira kwa maku nyawili na gata ndatu marakozi. Uh, greetings, I would, like to, uh, I would like you to explain to me the verse of the scripture in Exodus 4, 24 to 26. 4, 24 to 26. Yes. I have already explained this one. Okay. Maze zipora yenda isarabuga ye akebu munuwa wichunga anawe ambari ye au shugu nyimbele ya mo saramugu ya tinu kuri umbele yu mkufu shamarasu. Uite karamureka maze zipora aramugu ya ti uru mkufu shamarasu gukebaba ananiko mkwiti yenjo. And it came to pass on the way at the, at the encampment that the Lord Nenagisubizi, kariko ndonge angisubizi. That the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then zipora took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it to Moses' feet and said, Surely you are a husband of blood to me. So he let him go. Then she said, You are a husband of blood because of the circumcision. I have already answered this, but I'm going to answer it again. Musa had a problem on his mind. When God was sending him to Egypt, he had a wife called Zipporah. And they had two children. And he started a journey to go to Egypt to take back the children of Israel. But there's something that he did. There's something that he had not done. He had not circumcised his, his sons so that they could belong into the covenant. Because all the descendants of Abraham had to be circumcised. But because he was too busy with his work, uh, he did not pay attention. So when they got on their way, he was going with his sons and his wife as he was going to Egypt. Uh, uh, 
amuteze kibazo and the lord uh, brought trouble to him zatumye yenda gupfa and he almost died kumurongo wa 22 when you read uh, 22 nguzabwire farauti uwiteka aravuza ati ubwoko bwa bwa Israeli ni umwana wanje w'imfura then you shall say to pharaoh that says the lord israel is my son my first born makumyari na gatatu reka umwana wanje agenda nkorere ariko wanze kumurekura nuko rero nzica umwana wawe w'imfura urumva verse 23 says so i say to you let my son go that he may serve me but if you refuse to let him go indeed i will kill your son your first born israel ari umwana w'imfura Israel was the first born. Kugira ngo Israel abashe kuva mu Egiputa hagomba kuba incungu, incungu nundi mwana w'imfura mu Egiputa. For Israel to leave Egypt there must be a redeemer and the redeemer was uh, the first born in Egypt. Hagomba kuba substitution. They had to be a, They had to be a substitution. Aho Israel umwana w'imfura w'Imana kuguma mu buretwa, umwana wa Farao w'imfura zapfa hanyuma uwa uw'Imana bohoke. Instead of the first born of God, uh, Israel, to stay in slavery in Egypt, the firstborn of Pharaoh will die so that the firstborn of God can be set free. Okay, kumurongo wa makonya wili na kanerero, niho, niho, niho wabajije. Buke yari murugendo, yoni mose, ari kumenu mgorewe na habana, uiteka musanga munda aro ya rayemo, ashaka kumichu. You ask about 24, and he came to pass on the way, at the encampment, that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Agiye kumwica. As he was going to kill him. Moses ari materi migeri. When Moses was begging for mercy. Agiye gupfa. When he was about to die. Umugore wari iruka. His wife ran. Afata umwana we. And he, she took his son. Aramukeba. And she circumcised him. Amukebze. Once she afashe cyo gikoba yakebza giterera imbere ya Moses. She took the false skin and threw it at the feet of Moses. Uwo mwanya Imana iramureka Moses aba. And at that point God let Moses live. Shari kimenyetse ki uwo era umwana w'imfura wa Moses. That was the first born of Moses. Nokuva ngo aho Moses gupfa haramara samenetse yandi. So instead of Moses dying there is blood that has been shed. Bivuze ngo Imana yari bimwereka ibizaba gufa kwa banyegiputa niko kuzaba gukira kwa banyisraeli nawe yaragiye gupfa hari umucunguye yaramaraso y'incungu God was showing him what was going to happen the death of the firstborn of uh, Egypt is going to set free the children of Israel he was about to die but because of the blood that was shed he was redeemed Imana yamwereka ko nta gucungura kubaho atariho amaraso God was showing him that there is no redemption without blood ngumbere yumukwe uvusha amaraso bivuze iki ta urumukwe ikintu cyose twageraho cyose hagomba kuba hari amaraso amenetse you are a husband of blood to me what does it mean anything that we achieve we going to have to have blood shed ikindi uyu mwana kuva amaraso nibyo byacunguye mose ntiyapfa also the uh, the blood shed uh, of the of the child redeemed moses from dying byavuga gusa ko amaraso ari yazacungura niyo meaning ikomeye gomba gufata and the most important meaning is uh, that the blood redeems. That's what you need to keep. Ibi menye tsobzo se mosa ya koze kumanura urubura kuzana ya masazi ni bikibi ya bzo se bzari bikiri toto. Ichago mba kulibera visira iri yara amaraso ya gomba kakumeneka. The miracles of bringing down hell, of uh, bringing flies, all those things were small miracles. But the greatest miracle that had to be done was the shedding of the blood to save the, chi the children of Israel. Okay. Ichindi, shalom, iyo na huyenu tuwa zotkwinshi, hivuka ko amasaha ajie kujera, humva amagambo ari otantike mutujeza ho, numva nuzuye umunezeru. Mbese sinjivona isa hijeze. Murabaga chilo, kanini chane kubuzima ugachu. Ichivazo chanje, nabazaga. Na ikibazo cyanjye nabazaga ibijyanye no kongerera amaraso iyo umuntu arwaye buriya ntago bihindura karakter z'umuntu wongereye amaraso agasigara afite ukuntu ateye nk'umuntu wa muhaya amaraso ko amaraso ari mu bugingo murakoze mm -hmm. So praise the Lord uh, I just want to say first that I'm filled with joy when I uh, when it's uh, when I get uh, to join the program and the words that you give us are very helpful to us I wanted to ask you about blood, blood transfusion. When you have blood transfused, does, does it not affect your character since we know 
that the life is in the blood. Oya nta kibazo kirimo kuko ni quantité ntoya cyane ntishobora kumodifier ADN yawe. Ari ana mara sa kongererwa mu bire ariko ta modifier ADN yawe. Wewe uri uruturemangingo uri uri yo ADN. Amara so ni ntaza rero ngo akure mu ADN yawe. So it's not a problem because it's a small quantity. Uh, the blood that is being given to you does not change your DNA because the person you are is uh, in your DNA. Na na bwo aya maraso eh ariyo azangu ahita ashyiramo character yundi muri wewe oya. So that blood does not transfer the character of another into you. Kuko ufite uri w'Imana ako kimerere kawe ta wundu kagira. Because you have a, a uniqueness that God has given you and no one else has it. Okay. Kindi. Yes, ashimwe aposo nitwa Claude Ndikigali fite ikibazo ese muri Matayo igice cya 11 mu rongo wa 24 iyo hasomye hagaragaza yuko tuzahanwa ibihano bitangana ese byaba bihura nibyo Islam Islam ivuga yuko ku munsi w'urubanza hari abazashyamano abandi birenge abandi amaguru igakomeza uka uka ugakomeza zamuka bitewe n'ibyaha umuntu yakoze kandi turabashima ku busobanuro muduka Okay, greetings. My name is Claude. I wanted to ask about Matthew 11:24. It mentions the different punishments that we are going to receive. Is it this, is it similar to what is mentioned in uh, Islam, where it says that some are going to be burned uh, by the toes, or some are going to be burned with the feet, or even the whole body based on the severity of their sins? Thank you, and we appreciate the answer you are about to give us. <laughs> Rikato harewe. Let's eh, read it. Eh, Matayo, chuminu mwa makumi ya vina kani nizo? Yes. Ok, mbavari agato mbare ya mbari ya anjana. But I say to you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. Awa yesu yari mavuga kaperi na umu na korazini na 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 Bethesda ya migi yumvishe ijambo ry'Imana ya Here Jesus was talking about uh, Capernaum, Corazin and Bethesda, Bethesda uh, the cities that heard the gospel of God Eh ntabwo ariko bimeze ngo buri muntu azaza cha gato yundi kanini undi ki That's not the case uh, people are not going to be burned in different ways Eh icyo Kristo avuga ha What Christ is saying here Ari mara cha imidugu di Capernaum ikorazini Bethsaida ko ubutumwa yavuge iyo abanyi Sodom bagirirwa mahirwe yo kubugira byenda babari hanye ku rutabo Here he is rebuking rebuking these cities of Capernaum, Corazin and Bethsaida because the people in Sodom and Gomorrah would have repented if they had the opportunity to do so Ah yes yari mo acha habisiraheli Jesus was rebuking the children of Israel. He did miracle for them. He spoke with them. He was born among them. But they rejected him. If Jesus had been born in among the Gentiles, they would have re received him. So you know the punishment they received and the troubles uh, the Jewish to this day, they are still facing those consequences. It does not mean the end a uh, time judgment or when the people are going to go into the fire. But what the Bible is saying is in the Jewish context. As you see, the great uh, uh, challenges they met and the difficult lives they had to live. And to this day, they are still suffering. So when you don't believe God, if you don't obey God, yet you are together. You suffer consequences that are much more than someone else who does not know God and who did not obey him. Even uh, in court, when they are about to uh, give sentencing, and they have three people, 
harubwo bavuga ngo uyuwe ibyo mwari munti yarabizi sometimes they say that this one was not aware of what you were doing bakamuyigihano gito igihano kuko yakabanye namwe they give them a small punishment or a small sentencing because he was involved as well ariko umuntu wabitangisha but the person who started the plot kandi yarazukuri and who knew the truth ahantu wabyinshi that person has a, a bigger sentence nicyo yesa sha kwigisha that's what jesus is trying to teach umuntu agenda kuhura ni ni ndambara nibibazo bitewe n'ubumenyi no kujijuka kw'ikintu azi a person will face consequences based on their knowledge and the truth that they know igerero cyo gucimanza cy'Imana so when god is about to judge igiye gucira umuntu rubanza when god is about to judge a person ibanza kureba ibyo waruzi n'ibyo utaruzi he looks at what you knew and what you didn't know ugacibwa rubanza rungana n'ibyo uzi and you receive a judgment based on what you knew ntabwo ari igiye gusa kimperuka n'ubuzima turimo tugenda duhura n'ibibazo cyangwa se ningora nebitewe nibihano it doesn't he doesn't have to wait until the end time judgment it's even in your everyday life where you meet challenges and consequences mm -hmm. shalom shalom fada dukomeje kubasabira umugisha ku mwanya mufata mutwitaho nk'urubyiruko muri umugisha kuri twe mfite ibibazo nka bitatu icyambere ni bihe bikorwa byo mugakiza byahesha umusore ukijijwe w'iki gihe kunezerwa cyangwa se bya bya mu yamurutira umunezero wo mwisi kibazo cyakabiri ni zihe ngamba cyangwa imyitozo yagufasha kugera ku rwego rwiza rwo kunezerwa kunezerwa mu gakiza kibazo cyagatatu nk'umusore utara utaramenya umuhamagaro we mwamufasha iki ese ni byiza kugerageza imihamagaro itandukanye ngo bigufashe kumenya uwawe no umusore wo muri Dallas Texas okay shalom father uh, my i have three questions the first question is what are the works uh, of someone who is saved or the works of salvation that can bring more joy uh, to a person more than the joy of this world? Uh, the, first, the second question is what are the trainings or decisions uh, that someone can take that will also bring more joy than someone who is not saved? The third question is I want to know about the calling of God. Should we try different callings before you actually find your own calling? This is a young person from Dallas. Ibi kongo zo mugakiza bihesha umuntu munezero eh ubura cha kuvuga ama activity ni activity eh anyway we replacing za replacing ibyo yabagamo oh okay here you are you are trying to talk about the activities uh, that could replace maybe what you used to do mubzukuri ibindi byose ni accessoire gukizwa neza byo nyine no munezero kuba mu mana neza wo no munezero nawe ibizo gutamba kugira gute kujya biriya ni no mubiri ni kamere ariko agakiza keza gatanga munezero a truly all the other activities are accessories when you go dancing when you go uh, in different things those are just accessories true and authentic salvation is what brings a, a true joy gusomijambo gusenga kuririmba to read the word of god to pray to sing kubana no rundi rubyiruko to be with the other you young people ibyo byongera wa munezero those things increase that joy kugira inshuti zabakijijwe mukaya muganira ibintu byiza mukadiskira kuri bibiliya mukasengera mugafashanya to have friends who are also believers and you can pray together you can help each other ibyo nabyo bizana umunezero those things also bring joy. Eh ngwese ngo nizihe ngamba cyangwa imyitozo yafasha kugera ku rwego rwiza kunezerwa mu gakiza. Ingamba ya mbere yagufasha kugera yo ni discipline. Uh, what trainings or decisions that you need to take? The first decision you need to take is to be disciplined. Ukabanza ukamenya okay bati ngiyewe ibi bindi byose no ngiye kwishira this. Iyo iyo warangije gahunda yawe neza uranezerwa. Iyo wishira yo discipline ukabona bikiye uranezerwa. When you uh, when you put in place a schedule and you discipline yourself and you follow through, then you are going to feel happy. Number two. Iyo ubashije apart discipline. Ubashye kwishira kwintego. Kavuga ngo ke mugitondo zanya ko ribi 
sa CCTV mu mugoro wabiri ukazirangiza zose wumvuguwe neza cyane kwishyira ho intego ni ikintu cy'ambere mu buzima uh, the second one, apart from discipline, when you establish goals, for instance, a daily goal, I'm going to do this at noon, at 3 p.m. in the evening, and you follow through those goals, that will bring you happiness, and it's very important. At first, it's going to cause you pain, it's going to uh, bring you sadness, but because you are not used to it. Ariko no navuga ariko nubi nubi komeza bika ukabimenyera nta kindi kintu kinezeza nkicyo but if you continue and it becomes a lifestyle there is nothing more nothing more that can bring more joy than that ngumusoro utaramenya muhamagaro we twamufasha iki twamufasha kumusubiza yabajije someone who doesn't know their calling uh, what can we do for that person we should kumusubiza Okay. It's, uh, we answer that person when they ask us about their calling. Because we cannot know how to help them if they don't ask us. Samuel asked Eli. Eli and Eli told him. Ni ni barero na we ufite itori urere guamo ukoro bivuze egera pastori ukomeza umubazo ko wiyumva icukunda muri wowe pasio yawe pastor yera zagenda kuyobora umenye muhamagara wawe if you are in a church uh, you need to uh, spend time with your pastor tell them what you love your passion and he's going to help you or she's going to help you to discover your calling urabaza ngo se ngo uzagerageza imihamagara yose kugeza igihe uzatoru wawe oya banzu rebe ukundiki wangiki ni ni kukunda ni kiwanga aho tuzakora mu muhamagara wawe you are asking if you should try all the callings until you find the right one? No, you should first examine what you love and what you hate. And based on those two things, you are going to find your calling. In what you love, you are going to find your calling. In what you hate, you are also going to find your calling. Urugero. For instance, if you like to play uh, instruments, and you don't know it. But when you see people, musicians, you, you love it. You need to go and learn how to play the guitar. You need to learn how to play the piano. If you, if you hate this order, and you find young people disorganized and you hate it, so your calling is to put things in order. That means you are going to put things in order, you are going to be a leader. And you are going to be a leader. And then you start to help the young people to be organized. So what you hate uh, can show you what your calling is. But this is not a miracle. The most important thing is to be under spiritual leadership, to have a spiritual uh, parent so that they can lead you. Okay. Shalom. Muri news letter aho wavuze mukwihuza wavuze ko social distance arimbi. No ne iyo 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 mwitorero batenze uwasambanye ko hari ababa bitandukanije nawe mu buryo buri physique ndetse no mu mibanire ese si cyaha ababa bakoze kubwo kwitandukanya nawe mu buryo bw'imibanire social distance social distance physique nje navuze navuze ko tutagomba gukoresha terme social distance twakoresha physical distance ndagira ngo ntabe babasomye neza ngo basobanukirwe okay so the question is about uh, okay, physical, uh, social and physical distance. The difference between uh, social distancing and physical distancing. To uh, do, do, donk, uh, when they stop someone from church uh, service. Excommunication. Excommunication. Bivuziki. What does it mean? Baba girango yumvu kundo biwabas. Nigi hano imana ya shize kugirango umve ikiwabas. It is a punishment. Mm -hmm. It is a punishment that God established so that you can feel the pain. 
And you are going to stop doing so in the future. Social distance, jungle, physical distance. That's what I meant by saying social or physical distance hurts. So that takes place so that you, the person in question can feel the pain of the punishment. You are just saying it, you have not been excommunicated before. If you had, you would know what it is. Or if you were excommunicated. Maybe they were soft on you. Anyway, I recall But any type of excommunication hurts. The Bible says that uh, it must pain or it must cause pain to the body so that the soul can be saved. Shalom, Papa. Imana Igumu Disha, Kuri Youth Ask Paul. Esemu Monu, what to Yibzaha, Agakoyaka deliverance. I call you Ma, a coin Yarakora, Chimimimu Yibzaha, Yakon Yarakoyaka. Deliverance, if you say, I'm going to go deliverance, you also change the area, the lack of commitment, you have to change it. What else? Okay. Uh, blessing, Father. My, I have two questions. The first one is, if someone is has repented and they receive a deliverance, and they go back into the same sin, do they need another deliverance? The second question, what caused the person uh, the Around the neighborhood, yes. So the reason why we are caught into lies is because we accept things right away. But if you tell the person, give me a few days or give me a period of time, you are going to discover the lie. Don't think in you say, Ubona Utametri Zaneza. So if you are not sure and you ask for a time to think about it, that person is not going to fall into that lie. Okay, Ikindi. Shalom, mufashe kumva iti chandi tukwecho muri samgeru wakabiri makumyabi nakabiri umurongwa makumya nakatandatu. Shalom, please help me to understand the passage in 2 Samuel 22-26. Have a good here? Oh, 22-26. Yes, 2 Samuel 22-26. Kumunya ambawa zu zire kana kumunya ambawa zi kutunga ne u zire kana kutunga. With the merciful, you, sh you will show yourself merciful. With the blameless man, you will show yourself blameless. Bifu ze kuima ana idu treta idu idu it means that God does not treat you according to your nature. If you are a good person, he's going to treat you well. If you are evil, he's going to treat you bad. Except for his mercy. Except for his mercy, each person must reap what they sow, must pay. For what they did. If you are humble, God will come down and be humble and help you. If you are humble, God will come down and be humble and help you. If you are humble, God will come down and be humble and help you. If you are humble, God will come down and be humble and help you. If you are humble, God will come down and be humble and help you. If you are humble, God will come down and be humble and help you. If you are humble, God will come down and be humble and help you. Imana ije uguhemba imirimo ukora mu kudufasha mu gufasha abana bayo mfite ibibazo bijyanye no kwiyiriza ese umuntu yo yirije amasaha akagera yo gufungura akarya ibirenze ibyo asanzwe arya nijoro biremewe ikindi kibazo ese ni ryari cyangwa ni sangapi utarya nijoro kugira ngo utica umunsi wo kwiyiriza nibazaga niba sasita cyangwa sasaba warya murakoze imana ikomeze ibuze Okay, I have questions about fasting. Um, when uh, you are fasting and it's time to break your fast, and you eat more than your usual meal, uh, is this okay? Is this a sin? My second question, what time is a good time to stop fasting 
if you are fasting for the whole day. Is midnight okay? Okay, good. Wunda masaha biterwa nuko abipanze. It depends on how you scheduled the fasting. Uchora kubwa ngoke je nzata angiri akutarja six ya mugito ndo saa kumi na brisa mugito ndo kugeza saa kumi na brisa mungoro. You can say I'm not gonna eat from six a.m. to six p.m. Icho gie wargi shorujos. Wargi six, wargi six ya yangu mungoro ba kugeza si kugeza five a.m. mugito ndo. At that point, you can eat from six p.m. to five a.m. the next day. But if you say I'm going to take 12 hours, you can start from midnight uh, until 4 p.m. 6 p.m. At that time, you have taken 12 hours. Uh, 24 hours. And if you want to take 24 hours, that is from 6 a.m. from the morning to 6 a.m. the next morning. Don't be terrible when you come for your monthly. However, I'm going to say, okay, since a partir of 6 it angi, that I'm clicking on my camera within the 6. So it depends on how you scheduled your time. There are some people who say, I'm not going to eat until 6 p.m. That means you're not going to eat until that time. It's your guerrero. Iyo we rijamangwa mwishorogo makuria ni nebirio bi bi bi. Bitaib zinchi chani kugirangota, tabora ni bitozi changu sisi bita kuabaza. Nano ne kani bitei ruano mungu. Harabata wa chakuli jishoro, alikuwa na wanda bari yani ba giri kibazo. Bitei ruano kona umubiri wa umesi. So if you have fasted until 6 p.m., you must eat a normal meal so that you you are able to sleep or that doesn't cause any problem. It depends on people. Some people eat can't eat a lot in the evening. Some people eat. Gowardia kugeza sa sa kumi ni mwe na mirongo tano ni chenda zamu gito. So you can eat until five fifty nine a.m. in the morning. Okay. Shalom mje yuwa chuzukunda chani tura tura shimima na yaku duha mje ingichi hari ahonga dukuye hari na ahomori kutwele chiz ni wunu ujeleze kubundi ni tuwa abineza fite itiwa zo kubjani tukwe chini muri matayo chumi na kavidi umurongo amakunya bi umurongo amirongo ni na kavidi. Umugabe kazi wiji hugu chikusi Aza hagurukana na wichi jihe Kumusi wa mateka Awatindishi Kuko ya vangwe kumbera isi No kumva uge nje wika saromo Kandi uru tasaromo alihanu Uru tasaromo numvali yesu wivugaka Aliko seko amateka ya saromo Nuyu mugore tuyazi Koya ba yeho ngisezera norija chela Uyu mugabe kazi wa ngisezera norisha Yesu wavuga uzatindisha so, Shalom, thank you, Father, for what you do for us. Uh, you are always taking us to a new level, and it's, uh, it's a lot of grace. My name is Abineza, and my question is, uh, is in Matthew uh, chapter 242. It's asking about uh, the Queen of the East, uh, who will condemn us on the day of judgment? Uh, south. The queen of the south. Queen of south. Okay, so the queen of the south. The queen will, of Sheba. Mm, the queen of the south will condemn us on the day of judgment. <coughs> us. And it talks about the greater than Solomon who is going to come. Here it's talking about Jesus. But we know the story about Solomon and this queen. I want to know who this queen actually is. Ndabugo, aru, 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 mugabe kazi wisi ya zanolisha. Ni wa hundi uzi wa kere, wagi ya kuriwa kwa salomo. Mera vwe muri Afrika, aja, Israeli kuriwa kwa salomo. Niwe. It is not the queen of the New Testament. It is the same queen of the Old Testament. Yes, alimu na tanga huru kero. Jesus is just giving an example. Kwa rabu ya abu Israeli. He is telling the Israelites. Salomo ya wa imuami wanyo. Say, Solomon was your king. A kafugibi inubzi ubu gengi. And he was, he had many words of wisdom. He was wise. He was so wise to the point that people who leave the south in Africa to come and hear his words and to hear his wisdom. So I am here, Jesus. Among the, the Israelites. I am wiser than Solomon. 
and I, I know more than Solomon. But you are not able to come and listen to me. Ariko abandi bavaga kwe bakaza kumva Solomon ufite ubwenge bukeya para Paulo yanje. But people used to come from far to come and listen to Solomon who is less wiser than I am. Tirero igiye cy'urubanza. So on the day of judgment muzaci muzaci burubanza rukomeye kuko mwananiwe kunyumva hari nabandi bavaga kure bo bakaza kumva umuntu utameze nkanje nibyo Yesu yababwiraga ko izaba ari beze ari proof ko bakonda na Israeli you receive a severe judgment because people used to come far from far to listen to someone who is less wiser than me so he was just giving them the standard of the judgment or the base of the judgment aho yanababwiye nibyayona he also told him about Jonah. Yona yavu yaho aragenda aja inine wi arabuiri zabara kizu. Ari konge we ndaruta Yona ndi hano mwana niwe kizu. Nibuza yeswa abuiri. Gacha kwa abuiri kwa vanu vazo vasu bakuze busuzuguru mungu wabo. Jonah left to Nineveh to preach and to preach for repentance, and people believed him. But Jesus, who was among his own people, no papa, no visa, muni jesho za deliverance, ngato biye kui. Kujira ngo umuna bohoke, umugabo numugore wijoro, bisaba gushaka umuno abgira afita mavuta yo hejuru, akamukorera deliverance. Ichibazo chanje, kutu kwa kuunze kuijishwa oto deliverance, umuno akitandu kanyanu umugabo, changwa numugore wijoro. Umuno habiko ze, aga hakana umugabo, nivikora. None umuno atabonye, umuno yize ye, umukorera iyo deliverance, wari kumge ya vijenza gute. Ni mabi shobo kako mga horera ilo deliverance muka nyiruka na ho uwa mga bawi shoro mga mfasha. Mga mfasha muka mga nyiruka nila. Muza wa moko ze chani. Ni keshi na bugi weko munguka na shinji wekandi ngo akabari na cho jituma na gushaka visanzgo bitaz. Mura ko ze chani. So my question is about a spiritual husband and wife. We learn that when you have a spiritual husband and wife, you must look for someone who is more anointed to give you a deliverance session. But we also learn that there are auto deliverance that can be done. In this case, does auto deliverance work? If no one is available that you trust, what can you do? And the last question is, can you please do that deliverance for me? Because I have a spiritual husband and I believe he has blocked my uh, marriage many times. Self deliverance ya kora. Uwi koze wika chamo akagenda na wuza kora. Auto deliverance. Auto deliverance can also work. If you do it and it works, that's okay. Wina ni ranyirero ni hoa warewo mtu kufasha. Ariko wawo wuzi kore wika genda. Na mahi uwe chana yungai. Awo kuja kui expose amogandi. If you do it for yourself and it works out, it is good because you don't have to expose yourself. But if it doesn't work, then you need to look for someone else. But it has been uh, proven many times that someone who is already in bondage cannot set themselves free. But if you can, it's going to be good. Haru burjo na wabu ya mga abigenza mwa shikuwi kora za achamo. Wita bita na chiyemo. Ugo uraha. Wakuruburu bziru kwa na varemo wakuri kilura wande kilura he. Kontakte za wabaza tuwa za kushakisha no kusengeja. I told you different steps to do this auto deliverance. If it works, that's fine. If it doesn't work, please send your contact information to the youth leadership here and we are going to pray for you. Ok, iki indi. Ichindi mwana gisubi jariko, sinzi kwa gisubi ramo. Eee. Ko kubesha alicha ha, mumucho wachu wa chinyarwanda, iyo basaba umujeni, haba nubakunda kubesha mumihango yogu saba umujeni. Aposo, wabgira ichi, haba nyarwanda, kubijanye nuwa mucho, niwa, na wiji za wima kano mufasha wa anjeru wala jichi. Urujiriko nguwa achu narugo, luchene ye, luchene ye kubijira umucho, Okay. My question is about uh, lying in uh, cultural ceremonies. Uh, I know that lying is a sin, but in the way we ask for uh, bride or the dowry session, we lie. 
So I had this argument with my spouse and it was serious. So I want to know what should you, what is your advice to the young people because they are the ones who are involved in these ceremonies. Ibi ni binyoma. Ikinyoma ni ikinyoma ni ikigiri kiniki. Tuvatuku wakila kuli fonda si tariyo. A lie is a lie and when you do that you are building on the wrong foundation. Haru mucho mubi no mucho mngiza. There is a good culture and a bad culture. Umubi tura ureka umngiza tuka ukomeza. We forsake the bad culture and we continue with the good culture. Bili ya wawabesha ngu mugeri ntari ya naribura ya arijami ya humu mzubi ya nivi nyoma. Baza cha kibi indi bziza wafuga no ne umuko wa muza ne. Bata linda kubesha ngu ngotkwa anya agiwe ni mfura mga adute icho ndo vili ya nivi ni micho agipagani. Tabgaru imucho wima. The things they use to lie and they say that the bride is in Europe while they are, while she is uh, in the same uh, house uh, or when they say we, we were outside and rain was pouring upon us, those things are lies and they are actually out of a culture of pagans. Kandi ibzo bzo waka fondasyon bigwa sanga wano wa tangi ya kubana wabesha na kuko nini wa musabze wabesha. Ere no kubana musabana mukinyoma. And it builds, it builds on the wrong foundation and people start to lie to each other in the marriage because they were lying when they asked for the bride. Uh, what you must do as children of God, you must look for people who are saved to... Uh, to officiate those ceremonies because all we want is for the wedding to work out. That's all we need. There are some people who argue and say we must continue our culture. We must continue to use those lies. It is not a good culture. It is a culture of lying. Our culture has two different faces. It has a good one and a bad one. So what you must do is you take the good part and you re refuse the, the bad part. Even in our forefathers' culture, someone who lies was was always looked was looked down upon. But when they go to do the uh, bridal ceremonies, they would lie. That that was that's surprising. Okay, ikindi birarangi ye murakoze rubzi ruko tu gie kujira mubzi fuzopza anyu hanyuma du komeze. Kugubganeza. Deka tuje mwuzi ifuzo. Ichi ifuzo chambede. Ichi ifuzo ni ifuzo kwa wasengira maifada omu mwubidi. Ya chirie yesu aliko ingeso yoku iba. Na kamele yogu tonga na nivindi. Kama hane. Nivili kumuvamu. Ichi ifuzo chakabidi. Shalom fada. Nda wakunda. Mwana waga chilo kubuzima uganje. Nini jisho zanyo za hindu yubuzima uganje. Nani mfite ichibazo na jize. Fiti ichibazo na jize nzo zimbona. Ngonji ye kubzara, aliko wali waji ye kumbaga. Abaganga, wali wanze kumzara nezi. Nuko mujihe neza neza waji ye kumbaga, unga anahita asuhoka. Asuhoka, alisuhora, mubzara nezi. Bata ambazi, mwuse njire kugizo nzozi, mwurakoze mujiru mwujisha. Ikindi chifuzo, yesa shimne mubje yi, na wasa wagango, mudufashe gusenga, kwa mkwa kabili, italichi, Kwa kabili kutari chichumi ni mwezu kwa munaani saachenda tuzaja mkubo na nanawa yobozi du saba imapuro zitukwe merira kuwa mufaransa. Uhundi ni wo badu sabje kutu kwa wisaba vivuze kwa wazazi duha. Kwa matumaze imi akine tuwe hano tulasaba mudufashe gusenga wazazi duhe kama naniza. Badu shizeho hamge ninzu yoku wa mo kama naniza kuko bajawa wanza waka nanizu mwono. Imana ikureho ayo mananiza yose tuwone ibjobjangonga bjose nyumatuzashiri imana murakoze muduhesha 
murakoze kuduheka mu masengesho imana ikomeze ibaho mugisha reka dusenge turasengera nibindi bazo bitandukanye byinshi mufite let's pray we are going to pray for more requests that you have ndagira ngo ikibazo cha papa wakijijwe we su gusenga gusa akenewe deliverance yarakijwe ariko akeneye kubohoka i believe your father who got saved needs deliverance reka tumusengere imana izamubohore Let's pray for him that God may set him free. We take a man like him and Ziza. Lord, great and good. For as an umuze you walk his way. We bring this father who has been saved. Ariko ingeso yokuiba. Who is still stealing. Kamere yobutonga na. And the nature of amahane. And anger management. Nibi ndibzo siri kimuba se. For as an ngoi mukuremo. And all the things that are binding him, we ask you that you set him free. Mizi na Jesus Christ in Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Furako ita hasi yumuka. We bring down this spirit. Wiki nyomu murimo. The spirit of lies that is. Wokuiba. The spirit of faith. Woku wogu tonga na. The spirit of argument. Yeka gakiza kagire usawa nuru muriwe. We let the salvation has a way have have a way. Izi nzozu yumuko we we mu mwenye data ya gizezo kubza araba mubazi zamu hagaritu mutima. Mana tu rasa wangu umukori chumuti ma wifuz. We also pray for this a dream that she had about the C-section. We ask you that you give her the desire of her heart. Mwezi na jaya su Kristu Nazareti. Azabzare neza. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may she deliver mubuzimabge in her life. Trokwe kana wabene data mami. We also bring you these brethren who are in France for four years and who don't have papers. They are going uh, to seek them on uh, Tuesday next week. Uh, to look for these papers. We ask you that you grant them uh, the papers and you give them a house to live in. Open the the door in your name. By favor, in the name of the Lord, we come. Give them favor before the person is gone. King Guru, you must be angry at that. Open this door, Father. Now, when the fifty was of the Zango, we go. So now, we just move it and the woman was a woman. And all the people who have issues with papers, give them appointments to find them. To the Zango immigration, zero here is about now. We come. Now, now we are angry. Now we are refugees. We are going to be subdued. Oh, Baba King Guru, you must be angry. We ask you that immigration officers may grant uh, papers for your children, even those who have been denied. We pray for this Because you control the air and you control the hearts of people. Do it, uh, Lord. Because of your name. We thank you that you have heard and us. And that you have answered us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, young people. May God bless you.